بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سالر خان یوٹیوب چینل آف کورس سو اپ نتھنگ از دیٹ وی ڈسکس دا ورلڈ ڈیج ریگولیٹر سرکٹ دا لوڈ ریگولیشن وی اسٹارٹڈ ڈسکسنگ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو اینڈ وی سا دا بیسکس وچ آر آلریڈی ریٹن اوور ہیئر دا فائنل فارمولا فار در آر ایل مینیمم دیٹ آئی ایکسپلین ان دی اینڈ آئی ہیو آلسو ریٹن اٹ اوور ہیئر It's what RL would be variable, inward voltage would be constant. We've seen how, what would be the working and things like that. An example. So let's say an example is that the input voltage is given is 20 volts. Input voltage is 20 volts. Uh, the resistance R is a 222 ohms. Uh, the Zener voltage is 10 volts. And the maximum power dissipation is 400 milliwatts. 400 milliwatts and determine the range of RL. So range of RL is again unknown as in the previous video. So what do you have? Now we don't know that whether the diode would be on or it would be off. So it would also depend on the, the value of RL because it's the voltage across it, right? So the minimum value of RL for which this diode would turn on, this would this would break down. So, so the breakdown in zero voltage, you could say turn on as well, right? So for which it would break down would be that minimum value over here. So you have RL minimum from this formula. So RL minimum would be what and what happened. So I believe I just uh, did something but it is anyways it's fine. So RL minimum you could find from this formula RL minimum from this formula directly. So R is given it's 222 ohms into vz is 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 10 volts and then you have a vi minus vz so it's a 20 minus 10 so do the calculations what is it 2220 divided by 10 it's a 222 again so rl minimum comes out to be 222 again right yes 222 ohms now for rl maximum for rl maximum what do you need you need il a minimum i believe Yes, uh, yes, you could say, yes, so you need IL minimum, so how do you find IL minimum, you don't have RL maximum, right, you have V naught although, but IL minimum, so you have over here IL minimum, and you could find that by finding IZ max and I. And you can find easily, you can find I easily as well, you can find IZ easily as well. So, uh, which means this formula we cannot use, right? So, what formula we are going to use? We are going to use this one, right? So, we can find out IZ max from the uh, power rating. So, PZ maximum is already given. So, IZ maximum would be PZ maximum upon vz so this is a 400 divided by 10 this would be this would come equal to 4 uh, 400 divided by uh, 10 so this would be 40 milliamperes 40 milliamperes is iz maximum let me check uh, iz maximum is 40 milliamperes yes yes so now you have iz maximum you can find out i as well i is v i would be what v by r yes this we are upon R, isn't it like this? Huh? Isn't it like this? Let's say you can find it out. You can find it out or not? Why not? So this one, I times R. This is V i minus V r, V i minus uh, V z sorry or this i uh, is equal to V i minus V z upon r. So you have V i is 20, you have V z is 10, you have the value of r is 222, i comes out to be what 10 upon 222, so i comes out to be comes out this comes out to be 45 million pairs i believe or you can do it by yourself it's a 10 divided by 222 so this becomes 45 million pair although you can check the calculations you can check the calculations so have a look you've got i you've got izm iz maximum 
Yes, so I L minimum you can find it out. I L minimum would be what? It would be a I minus a. So this would become a 5 milliamperes. I L minimum is a 5 milliampere, isn't it? It is. So if I L minimum is 5 milliampere, so over here we not you have R L maximum. So R L maximum comes out to be R L maximum comes out to be V naught, which is 10 upon I L minimum, which is 5. So this comes out to be 2 kilo ohms. So this is the range, right? Isn't it like this? It is. Okay, let's see. We have another question. We have another question. Vz is 6 volts. Question. Vz is 6 volts. The knee zener current. The knee zener current is 5 milliamperes. Knee zener current is 5 milliamperes. And the minimum load resistance is unknown. And the power rating is unknown the output remains constant at 6 volts so v output is equal to 6 volt zener potential right in this in that so the same circuit you have the you're given a circuit as well where the zener potential is 6 volt the input voltage is 10 volts the r is 50 ohms and yes that is it that is it so have a look how can you do this what is unknown rl minimum is unknown so rl minimum you have r you have r you have r you have vz you have vi you have vz so rl you have find out directly rl you can find out directly minimum so rl minimum from that formula from this formula it's r so the value of r is 50 ohms into vz which is 6 and then you have input is 10 minus 6 so 50 into 6 are 300 divided by 4 what do we get i've written over here isn't this would be an oh wait 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 rl minimum you can find it. yes it's i believe it's an 80 ohms it's an 80 ohms rl minimum would come out to be 80 ohms yes yes and the power rating so for the power rating we need the maximum current right power pz max minimum power rating is pz max which would be iz max into vz so you need iz maximum so iz maximum you have to find from i from the from over here but have a look if you have rl minimum you have rl minimum so you can find il maximum if you find il maximum no how would you find it you can find the value of i you can first of all find the value of i because if you are using either of the formula so we need i which is a fixed value so it's a fixed value v i minus v z upon r so v i minus v z 10 minus 6 upon r so this comes out to be 80 milliamperes again 80 milliamperes again yes yes now what do you have now what do you have have a look so if you have i so this is equal to i z maximum plus i l minimum so do you have i l minimum do you have i l minimum yes you have you are given the knee current is the i l minimum so you can use this formula we can use this formula which means that 80 milliamperes is i z max plus 5 milliamperes so this implies what that the maximum uh, zener would be a 75 milliamperes so and that is it about the question that is it the about the question if anything else was unknown you can still do it by yourself the next next example let's say again vz is 6 volts let's say vz is 6 volt iz is 5 milliamperes again power rating is given it's a 300 milliwatts let's say question number three i do again over here power rating is given which is a 300 milliwatts right range of the load current such that the output voltage is regulated at six volt range of the load current so we are finding out the range of the load current the rest of the things remain the same and the input voltage now has became nine volts the output is 6 volts still 
right r is yes yes so what do you have is let me remove this let me remove this and what are we we finding out in this case we are finding out again the range of il so range of load current il which means the minimum and maximum values of il we are interested in so how to do it il maximum il minimum so iz maximum you can do what you can use either of these two formulas to find out the range yes because the resistance is unknown the minimum of course you can find out the minimum resistance as well from here and then as the same procedure that we did or let's say in this one i just change my procedure to what that i find the iz maximum first so iz would be what iz would be what it's 300 divided by 6 iz maximum you can find from the power rating right so iz maximum you can find from the power rating which would be a 300 divided by divided by 6 so this would be 5 milli amperes this becomes equal to 50 milli amperes 50 milli amperes is the maximum current is given so you've got iz max you've got iz minimum now you need to find i l minimum you need to find i l maximum but you need to find out i and the value of i is fixed so i is fixed at what i is fixed at at, at v i minus v z upon r v i is is 9 minus v z is 6 and r is 50. what is the value of i fixed it's a uh, I fixed is 60 milliamperes. It's 60 milliamperes. So now let me name this as 1. Let me name this as 2. You can use either 1 or 2. No, sorry. You can use 1 to find the minimum load current. You can use 2 to find the maximum load current. So IL minimum. IL minimum would be what? IL minimum would be I minus IZ maximum. So I is 60 milliamperes minus IZ maximum is 50 milliamperes. So this comes out to be 10 milliamperes. And similarly, the load current maximum, this would be equal to uh, I minus IZ minimum. So I is 60 fixed minus IZ minimum is 5. So this would be equal to 55 milliamperes. Which means if you are asked to find the range, so you, you write it in a proper manner, of course. Let's say you have a 10 milliamperes pairs and then you have a IL and then you have a what 55 milliamperes for instance put this equal sign as well right so you've got IL minimum you've got IMX so now you can also find if you are asked about the range of RL for instance you are asked to also to find the range of the load resistance RL so you can also calculate it over here so RL minimum is what it's V0 divided by IL maximum and V0 is what? V0 is 6 volts and IL maximum is 55 milliamperes. So you calculate it. Similarly, RL maximum would be V0 which is 6 and divided by IL minimum which is 10. You can find. That is it. So this was just a very shorter video but uh, it was good for an understanding point of view you need to do some examples so anyways that is it about the the load regulation in the next video we see the line regulation till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye